here we are going to be talking about lookup value this is very much similar to the vlookup function which we had in uh, excel so in the similar fashion it works over here as well now the question might be for what purpose that we use we use this function to bring some value or some column from any other table into your current table basis on some common common column common key all right so if i talk about the syntax how the syntax is written then basis on the microsoft website the syntax looks like this right but hold on this might look you know tricky to understand and all those things so i will decode it in the normal language how to write the lookup value so the lookup value is lookup value syntax is written something like this all right lookup value is the function name that you are going to write as it is over here let me see if i can add, do the annotation all right so here i will take the pen so here you go this is the function name that you are going to write as it is then the next thing which comes is what you are looking for that you need to provide over here right then the common column in the source table from where you want to bring this column right whatever the source from where you want to bring this column a common that must have a common column as you have in your current data and that you need to provide over here and then the common column which you have in your data that you gonna provide right over here right that is it just close the bracket and hit enter the syntax is complete all right so this is how you can write it now let's try to understand this with a help of an example so let's say here we have the transaction table in which we want to create a column something something called customer name over here right and how can we create that so for that purpose what we need to do is we require to have a table which would have this particular column so let's say we have another table which is called customer column customer table right and if you can notice over here this has got the customer name now we need to bring this customer name into this right that doesn't mean that i want to remove it from the customer table it will remain over there but from here i want to take it over here for each of the invoice id so for that what i require is i need to have one common column in both of the table so if you notice in this source table which is customer you have invoice number and over here you got this invoice id right this is the common column which we are going to use now let's just see how the syntax can be written so syntax will go something like this look up value and then here comes what exactly that you are looking for so i'm looking for customer name from the customer table right what is the common column that you have in the customer table right so in customer table i have invoice number as the common column right and then in the destination table which is this transaction table into this what is it that you have the common column that i have invoice id so you can say transaction table is my destination table and into that i have invoice id so this is the syntax you need to write and you'll get the result which you are looking for all right so i just hope that it is clear now let me take you to the power bi and show you practically so here we are in power bi and you see here we have the transaction table into this i'm going to create and here we have the customer table which has customer name into this you have got invoice number and over here you have invoice id so in transactions table i need to create one column which is called customer name right so like you just saw that i create clicked on three dot and from there i am going i am you know redirected over here here i'm just going to write customer name and just write over here i'm going to write the function which is called lookup value and into that i need to write provide what exactly that i'm looking for so i'm looking into the customer table and that i'm looking for customer name right then what is the common column that you have in the source table that i have so invoice number what is the common column that you have in your destination table so that is invoice id but that is in transaction table which is my destination one so let's just put that and close this bracket and hit enter so as soon as you hit enter over here you are going to get the customer name absolutely fine you see right over here we got it right so for this invoice id we got deborah davis right so this is how you can use the lookup function now there is one limitation if you get duplicate invoice ids or invoice number it is going to give you the error so it you need to make sure that you have unique invoice id or invoice number or whatever the common column you have that should have the unique value okay it should not have multiple entries 
otherwise it will give you the error and the there is another function which is called related which is more efficient than lookup which we are going to see in the subsequent video until then happy learning wish you